Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this super easy mermaid look. I call it hooked. I'm going to start off with some cotton and some liquid latex. This one I got from Amazon and it was honestly super cheap. Then I'm just going to use an old brush and I'm going to put that latex on my face directly. And I'm going to roll up some cotton and put that cotton on top of the latex that I just applied to my face. I'm comparing both sides of my face to make sure that they're even. And I'm using latex instead of glue because it's a lot cleaner to work with. If I mess up with the latex, I can just peel it right off and that's why it's so much easier to work with. Then I'm going to take a cap and pour some latex into it and use my finger to dab it on top of the cotton. This is going to help me shape the gills and when, I'm, when I start to pinch them, that's going to also help. You want to soak the entire gill because you want it all to dry evenly and you don't want any of the fuzzy sticking out. Then I'm also going to dab some right underneath of my lip, which is where the fish hook is going to go when it's dry. Then I'm going to go in with my Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use this bright yellow color as a transition color between my top crease and my eyebrow. Then I'm going to use this lime green and I'm going to put that right underneath of the yellow. And this teal color that's going to go right underneath of the green. These are the transition colors for when I put the blue on my eyelid. Now I can do the main color which is this light blue and I'm going to place this all over my eyelid. This is the main color for my mermaid look. And of course there is no boring mermaid so I'm going to use this bright pink color on the edge of my eyes to create a very colorful look. Now that I'm all done with the eyeshadow, I can go ahead and do my eyeliner. This is the Stay All Day Eyeliner by Stilla. It's my all-time favorite. It has a super black matte finish, which I just freaking love. And it has a super fine point to it so that you can get the perfect wing. Now I can move on to my eyebrows. I'm using an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Requiem. And I'm just going to use this on my eyebrows. It's a really pretty sparkly blue color that is just going to give you guys um, a more magical look. Then I'm going to use this glittery liner by Handayan. I got it on Amazon. And this is just going to enhance that magical look we were talking about. I already had my foundation done, but I'm going to conceal underneath of my eyes just to kind of make me look more awake. This is the Locket Concealer by Kat Von D. I'm also going to contour my face as usual with my clay play terracotta and this is just going to go everywhere I normally put my contour. Now I'm going to go back to my Take Me Back to Brazil and that teal color that we used on our eyes. And I'm going to place that right on the tips of our gills and right in between the gills to make it look like they actually are gills. Then I'm going to take my spirit glue and I'm going to place it in between two of the gills right where the blue is at. And that is where I'm going to place this glitter that I have. That glitter I got on Amazon, it comes in like packs of 50 and it is as you guys can see super sparkly I love it it was only ten dollars I think and it's totally worth your money and like I said before no more made is boring so I'm going back with that pink color that I use on the outer corner of my eyes and I'm going to enhance my contour with it just to give a pop of color to my mermaid face.
I'm also going to use that same exact pink and place it right underneath of my eyes to make them seem more awake and also give them a little bit more color. I figured I needed some scales so I'm adding some more latex so that I can make scale looking things and put another fish hook on that side of my chin. Then I can go in with my ink lashes. Once the latex has dried and I have covered it with makeup, I can finally apply my fish hook. For lipstick, I'm using the Trendsetter and Video Star by Huda Beauty. And then I'm going to go in with my fake blood and I'm going to place that where the hooks are to make it look like it's bleeding where my skin has been opened. And I had this really pretty necklace so I figured that I could be a mermaid princess. <laughs> Finally, every single mermaid needs some glitter in her hair to look even more majestic. And once you're done with that, you are done with the look. Hopefully you guys liked this video and if you did, remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.